Opening night review with Jody Stevens, right underneath your photograph here, Jody. <laughs> We're in the lobby of the Sudbury Theater Center, and of course, it's opening night for Saltwater Moon. What a wonderful play. It's a beautiful play. It's really one of Canada's little gems. By one of Canada's foremost playwrights. Absolutely. David French. Yeah. And uh, it's fabulous. It's just the two of us, so it's just a two-hander. Yeah. And uh, as you know, he's written quite a few plays about the Mercer family. And this is really the beginning. This is when uh, Mary and Jacob get together. And it's a lovely evening. You people are some nice <laughs> there on, on stage. And, of course... Uh, <laughs> The Newfoundland accent, you got it down just perfect. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I know I spent four years in Newfoundland myself. Oh, perfect. And, uh, well, you know. You I have know, a trained ear. Yes, you were, you were just wonderful. Oh, and thanks. Now, you know, there's something about two-handers that brings a particular magic uh, to the theater. I, you know, when you come into the theater and you're in the audience, there's the first couple of minutes that you're, well, you're still sort of back on the street sort of thing, you know. Yeah. But, but you two, within just a very few minutes, you know, that, that, uh, that magic was there. And I, I got thinking, you know, this is something you don't get in the cinema. This is something you don't get, you know, anyplace else but in the theater. Absolutely, and that's the beauty of live theater, I think. And especially the way that this play is written. It takes place continuously in one night, so that when I walk out onto that porch, the audience sees the play happen from beginning to end. It's just one evening, and all there is is the moonlight, and there's a telescope and a rocking chair. There's no props. There's no, you know, there's nothing to razzle-dazzle. It's just two people out there. But the, um, but the way you tell the story, though. I mean, that's what it is. And your, and your imagination. You can you can tell what happened back in Toronto. You can tell what's what happened back uh, in the war because there's yeah. some wonderful scenes there with Richard uh, talking about uh, what happened to the regiment, the, you know, which was decimated back uh, back uh, you know in the in the so-called Great War. That's right, and and the, and the great thing for us is, as our characters in 1926, the war is so personal for us. Yeah, Both yeah. of our fathers fought in the war. I lost my father in the war, and it had a massive effect on my family personally. And then, uh, you know, Richard's father, and uh, well, Jacob's father, rather. Yeah, right. um, and uh, it is, it's a very personal uh, way to put some history of this this country into a play, and yet it's there's nothing that is... Uh, a classroom seat about it. It's highly personal, you know? I noticed a little accent just crept in there. Yes, that's right. Absolutely. I've just been doing it for an hour and a half on stage. And I do have a rum and coke in my hand, a traditional maritime drink, so uh, there what, you go. Uh, what, why should people come to see this play? Outside of the fact that it's done by one of Canada's most... Uh, outstanding playwrights and has two of Canada's most finest actors on stage. Oh, thank you so much. So sweet. Um, I actually, I think it is a beautiful uh, romance story. It really is, you know, and it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a perfect date night show, you know. Yeah, you yeah, take yeah. your wife, you take your girlfriend, and you realize again why we fall in love as human beings. And there's no better reason than to come see a play than to see <laughs> that happen on stage, you know. I can't help but ask how long did it take in rehearsal? We had 10 days. Wow. <laughs> Man, that's amazing. Well, terrific show. You're running for until when is it? Uh, November the 9th, I believe, next Sunday. Yeah. Great. So week Sunday. you got to see it. Saltwater Moon Please here at the do. Sudbury Theatre Center. Please do. <laughs> it's right some good, what? <laughs> what are you doing that for? Very nice. Yeah. Oh, thoroughly enjoyed it. Oh, Thank good. You.